how does the the pledge of allegiance come from a socialist background lay it on us man right so the pledge of allegiance is bullshit let's just start it out that way jehovah's witnesses agree with you what's that the jehovah's witnesses agree with you yeah and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna back them up on this so in the late 19th century so first off i'm gonna preface this with the fact that uh socialism back in the 19th and even going into the almost mid 20th century it wasn't the dirty word that it is now it wasn't uncommon to have socialists running for office and winning at times it mm -hmm. was, certainly was the most popular political movement but it, it was certainly a part of american culture for for a good you know uh, 75 years or so um so in the late 19th and, and uh christian socialism was a huge movement uh and in the was late prescott, 19th century was prescott was bush was prescott bush a socialist bush's great-grandfather in 1911 or whatever i don't know i know that he had ties okay. to hitler who was a socialist so uh right. okay he, he definitely had ties to them that's for sure um but uh, in the late 19th century, this magazine, they wanted to sell some flags. So they hired this uh, this Christian socialist minister named Francis Bellamy to essentially sell flags for them. And he wrote the original rendition of the Pledge of Allegiance, um, which uh, not only sold some flags, it became kind of a popular thing that he was promoting on himself. It didn't instantly become a thing at schools. It was just kind of a brand that he really started pushing. Uh, which um, at that time, before 1942, they did not place their hands on their hearts. Uh, they did kind of uh, uh, one of these gestures here. Uh, really? So when, you look at old, when you look at old pictures of kids they turned, in the 30s, They turned the Nazi one just upside down? It was upside down. And when, so when you look at pictures of oh. children in the 1930s and 20s doing what's called the Bellamy salute, looks, what? looks pretty bad. Didn't age well. Look this um, up, Lodge. We gotta, I got to see this. How, did, how have I never the, the, heard this? How has this been kept from my, my brain this whole time? It's, it's there. Just uh, Google Bellamy salute. And then so you basically had this minister, like a lot of socialists were nationalists, which so, uh, national socialism isn't a new concept, especially in the, <clears throat> not even in the United States. And so he was, uh, he was essentially... <laughs> There it is. There oh it is. There's Gosh. the Bellamy, Bellamy salute. salute. No shit. Yeah. You can understand in 1942, they're like, hey, let's, let's just are you uh, sure that switch just, it up. Are you sure that's not just kids at an Atlanta Braves game? <laughs> <laughs> is that, can we verify? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that old tomahawk job. They're still doing it. Good for them. Good for you, Atlanta. Don't let go. Way to hang in there and ruin, ruin, <laughs> ruin your economy over a, uh, over a, uh, all-star game yeah <laughs> it's the way to stick um, with it <laughs> so yeah the bellamy salute it was it was based it was essentially created a to sell magazines and b to sell um to sell indoctrination and so the there were a couple changes over the years the, the last major change to it was during the mccarthy era where they added the um under under god part to it um so uh it's steeped in bullshit and uh it's steeped in like bad intentions and it to, you know for me i can i'm i'm not a i'm not a political person i'm not a highly political person but i just see the hypocrisy in it where we talk about we want our kids to be independent we 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 want to be free thinkers but you're carrying on this 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 tradition this this um this monologue that's just steeped in shitty intentions and it, it, you know the national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance are two different things. Every country has a national anthem yeah. um, where the Pledge of Allegiance is you almost expect to see that kind of, you know, forcing children to recite pledges to a government. Uh, you almost expect to see that in places <laughs> like North Korea, not the United States of America. Kids are going to be capable of loving their country without you having to freaking force them to stand up and, um, you know, recite socialism.